so what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel this one is the latest build of MIUI CX room based on MIUI 12.5 for the MIUI 12 devices Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro it's based on MIUI 12.5 so all the MIUI 12.5 features are available present there you can use them without any issues I'm gonna show you some stuff about this build which is included in this one it's based on Android version 10 so it's not Android version 11 but yes it's a MIUI tool build and the thing is it's just kind of a zip file to install it has the MIUI tool vendor so you don't need to install a vendor specifically for that it has a very interesting kind of UI actually the smoothness etc seems to be quite good as you can see and I am also using it from some time and as you can see it has all those interesting features wallpaper and personalization it has the wallpaper section where we have all the super wallpapers all the MIUI 12.5 wallpapers so if you want to apply any kind of wallpapers you can apply it directly it includes some very interesting kind of UI related things the control center looks quite good which you already saw and this, these are some super wallpapers which you get pre-installed and all these super wallpapers are looking quite good and working perfectly fine this is the snowy peak this is a snowy peak super wallpaper which i just applied it also has the always on display and after turning on the always on display let me just check out if the always on display is there yes it's there and it should work definitely fine so let me just try it once and this is how it is looking it is it has the lcd display actually we have other mutual device which includes the lcd display so of course always on display is not recommended but still if you want to use this always on display you can but it's not recommended it's better to don't use this but if you want to use it for some time maybe for five seconds ten seconds then it might not be a bad idea you can give it a try if you want to so always on display is included there with the super wallpapers and the super wallpapers are looking damn interesting so this might be one of the cool interesting things if you're looking for some other things which you get in this customer which is a MIUI CX version this one is a weather app which is not working by default you need to install a specific apk for that so by default it's not working but you can install apk if you want to if you want to use this weather app from here it also includes very interesting kind of widget a unique kind of widget which is MIUICX Turkish Best Room which is quite interesting actually and if you talk about the control center we already saw about the control center UI includes little bit of things little bit of theming talking about the safeness status it's passing without any issues you can use safety net if if you can use the banking apps if you want to like the safety status is passing the device is certified so there might be no issues and also the best part is i haven't applied any kind of module to pass the safety net status and like that it also doesn't require you to hide matches so everything is quite good and interesting about this build it might be a very good choice for you if you want to experience MIUI 12.5 right now on your device as you can see the smoothness at Sikta seems to be quite good so that's good here if you want to use this build the link for this build is in the description let me show you that how about the device certification the play product certification and as you can see the device is certified so no issues in device certifi certification if you want to use banking apps as i previously told you you can use them without any issues the super wallpaper is applied here and still the smoothness is not looking that bad Talking about the camera, the camera includes a lot of features and it has a new MIUI 12.5 camera which has a lot of things to explore. If you want to explore them, you simply need to open the camera, search for these interesting kind of settings which includes these kind of options, movie effects, vlog mode, documents, long exposure, super moon. It also has a sticker, avatars, a lot more things. It has all these options available. You can simply choose them. If I haven't tested all those features, honestly, but yes, if these features are available, these should work. And if some of these features are not working, it's better to just simply take a feel. You can comment below. I'll try to check out all those features if these are working for you or not. But in my case, I haven't tested all those features. I'm not a big fan of using these interesting features in the camera. It also includes this interesting kind of UI which is available in MIUI 12.5 camera. It also has a clone mode. It has a long exposure, super moon, 
very interesting features which you might not get in the MIUI 12 but in MIUI 12.5 these features are available. For all these features for example the vlog mode it just click there it will take some time to download it depends upon your internet connection so I am not gonna download it it will take some time for the download to finish but the UI seems to be very interesting one. All other things the portrait etc everything seems to be good and working here. Even if you move on to the settings, it includes some interesting features. As you can see, by default, watermark and noise reduction option available there, where you can simply customize the fast, minimal, high quality, zero shutter lag or off. And we have the picture quality, watermark, a lot more things. It this camera, it, this room is might be one of the good rooms, one of the interesting rooms. If you're looking for some camera features, a lot of camera features are available here and there. Feature layouts, colors, sound, pocket mode, and here we have experimental features where we include the show face frame in the video mode, turn on MFNR auto exposure settings, some Chinese related things, donation related things. It includes a lot of features actually so this might be a good choice for you for example let me try out some features in settings for example we have the internal settings wait let me just show you it as the experimental features where we have the internal magic tools which might be interesting thing let me just check out these features by just force stopping my camera app from here and launching relaunching it once again we will just try to open it and let me just check out if it includes some features else these, these features includes everything ultra wide and etc seems to be good and working till now moving on to some features for example we have all these interesting macro tail shift pro color and here we have some interesting features for example these are the these were the features which were not present previously before enabling that feature now we have the notify about dirty lens we have the smart suggestions we have the live tips Talking about these kind of features, watermark was still present there previously, so no ex extra things here. But in the smart suggestions, we have new features, correct distortion, we have the focus and shoot. These were the features which were not present there, but with by enabling this internal magic tools, we, we, it includes a lot of features, turn on dual camera and a lot more things. So actually this room includes a lot of camera features. So if you're a user, love to use camera a lot on your device, then you should definitely give it a try because this room comes with a lot means a lot of camera related features. Other rooms come with some interesting features in settings and everywhere else. But this room comes with cool and interesting camera features. So if you are a camera lover, this room might be one of the choices for you. Talking about some other things which you get in this room, for example, in settings, as I previously mentioned, always on display is there where you can customize the notification shades, notification effects, a lot more things are there. So if you want to customize them, it's just up to you. Talking about other things, we have the pocket mode, launch camera, charging animations. It includes red ascent color here and there. We have uh, these other options, quite good and satisfactory. Home screen, etc. has the same kind of features where we have the arrange items in recents option available. These were the things I just wanted to let you know. Link is in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and have a nice day.